Oh, good afternoon and welcome. Welcome back to Rangers Radio, Livingston 1, Rangers 2, and a hard work victory. Uh, Livingston's ground, join myself, Fox, you're on the show as all, Bert. Okay, how was your thoughts, mate? Well, it was a, it was a struggle. I'll put it that way. It was a struggle. Uh, we tried and tried and tried and tried. And off, eventually... Off, off. Uh, Oh, eventually, uh, Wallace, uh, you call Wallace's wee spider, we succeeded, no? I mean, we just kept trying and trying and trying. Uh, but it was hard. It wasn't the Rangers for us. There's, 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 there's not a great circumstance either. But there were a few players, didn't they? I didn't particularly think played well, did they? Didn't they? Uh, but two good goals we got. Bad goal we lose, two good goals we, we scored. Uh, and... The determination, I like the determination of some of the players. I like that we want to win this league look. You know what I mean? That's a, that's a team that looks that they right. want to win the league. I recognise that they didn't just want to draw the game, try to go on and win the game, yeah? Aye, oh, definitely. Uh, just the first half, we'll put that down any rustiness and just getting a, a competitive game, you know what I mean? Getting the, they're getting the oil into the gears, as it were. We'll put that down to that. But the second half's a little better. But the big boy Tillman came on made a big difference and Arfield obviously for his goal. But uh but the second, the second yeah, half the, yeah, I, I thought Chill was just on side, mate. I thought the boy's shoulder at the front post was playing him on, yeah. But you don't you know what you to see it. You That's know, what it looks like you need to For me he showed us enough again, he showed it'll score goals, mate, if we get the ball in the box aye, on, yeah. Aye. Well I gave everybody a seven bar three players, uh, right? Uh, Barisic and Suter. Uh, well, Suter I gave a five, but my, my, and McLaughlin I gave a six, uh, Barisic a six, and Wright a six, and everybody else a seven. Uh, and I think it was just one of the games, you know what I mean? It was never going to be a sparkly game. It was never going to be with that pitch. I'm not, I told you, you can't run with a ball in that pitch. It's impossible. It's, it's, it's a pitch for running after the ball. And you, and you play the channel boys, people, and that's what you do with them. And if, it's, if you're getting it, it's one touch, lay it half, move, lay it half, move. You, you can't run there. It's just, it's still conducive for good football, good dribbling football and things like that. No, I mean, it's just, no. You've seen the, everybody struggling to control the ball. One so was struggling at times to control it. Bubbles up, uh, you see it. But the, the control and the bubbles up, you see it quite a lot, you know, when you're trying to move it. But the, the, the positive for me was the three points. Uh, it's a tick in the box because that's a game we don't need playing a plastic pitch out the way. The negative oh, was it, particularly the performance in the first half. Um, I thought Scott Wright done a couple of decent things, but he's positional and he, he does go missing sometimes. And you, I don't know if it's because we want Tav to go out there and he plays in the position that Wright should be. So I'll give him that, that then he comes inside, but he's definitely not an inside man. And for me, no got a lot to offer on that performance. Uh, on the left-hand side, I thought Barisic and Kent didn't link up great and their crossing in the first half was poor. Uh, and and Lawrence and Lundstrom and Kamara sometimes overplayed and made the wrong decisions in the first half. Uh, I would have personally took Kamara off at half-time because he's booking me and brought mm. on, uh, well, maybe Tillerman, I don't know. But anyway, we lost the goal all there. Barisic has got to come and challenge their boy who gets a free header. I don't know what he's thinking about. And then Big Suter gets rolled. I don't mm-hmm. know why he's, what he's doing getting touched tight uh, that close to the goal. But if, it, does it, if it goes against you, um, the guy's throwing goal. McLaughlin, for mm-hmm. me, didn't have a lot of option that, to where he was. And the boy finished it well. Then we huffed and puffed again the whole first half. It was about some of the games we've seen last year. All bear, we would never really troubled the goalkeeper, did we? Nah, we never created nothing. No, I mean, we're just the keeper. The keeper never much to do. If anything at all, the first half. No, I mean, you're sitting going, here we go again with too many square boys. Too, we need that driving force. No, I mean, we need our wingers to actually make a difference. I feel sorry for Kent and and Ray at times because they're told to hug that, that touchline, and I think it's too easy to mark. Have you got them hugging the touchline? I, I think they've just marked it again too easy. Uh, but the boy right beat that guy twice and twice he, he, he brought him down and you're sitting going right he's on, he's on a booking he's actually saying half that guy he shouldn't say that's one's a booking I had a second one a booking but you're going right come on now he's, he, he's staying on the park so far go him again go him again uh, because he'll know you're near you 
but he didn't seem to want to go home again. But he never stayed on the park long enough uh, after that uh, to to see the widow went went on. But you're not getting nothing for you, right? Sorry, well, son, but you're, we're not getting anything for him. Mm-hmm. So the second half uh, started, and we, we look to be playing at higher tempo. Tillerman comes on. Obviously, he, he likes to move the ball quick or try wee shimmies. He, he doesn't lack confidence, old bear, does he? Oh, no. Oh, boy, the boy knows he's a good player. You can see it. He knows, and he's strong, by the way. Did you see him holding two or three of them after all, or on the ball when he held them off? I was, oh, this boy's strong, uh, and he can play, and he actually can see a pass as well. Uh, I thought he maybe one he got a wee bit too cute, where, where he should have shot. And he, he oh, didn't he a wee fancy. Aye, fan. I think it was my jacket end of the pop. So he should have. Aye, that. He's got to hit. That. I should have hit it, and he should have scored the one he had the keeper with. Uh, uh, but apart from that, the boy's a player. You can see the boy's a player. I'm looking forward to the watching this boy now and going, well, let's see more of this boy. Boy Lawrence, Kamara seemed to get into his positions forward that you really want Lawrence and You're wanting Lawrence in the positions that Kamara found himself in. Uh, and I think as instructions, I think Kamara's been told to push into the boats, push forward a bit now. Uh, but it, it's no go at the vision that Lawrence has got and he's no go at the, the skill, the technique that Lawrence has got. Uh, Kamara, but he gets in good positions. Don't get me wrong. He's got, he's got a midfielder's brain, whereas Lawrence has got a forwards brain. No, I mean if he's in the positions, he he'll 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 manufacture something in the positions. But well, uh, Kamara does think sometimes it is, but not a lot, not a lot. Uh, but anyway, it's a victory. Oh, it's, it's, that's the most important yeah, thing. In the box, plastic patch the way. It and it's a fantastic point? victory, by the way. Let's be honest about it. I'm, I'm more than happy that we walk out there with the three points. More yeah. than happy. Yeah, yeah. And then, obviously, uh, Kent puts a cross. I think it was Kent. I Kent puts a cross in. Cholak, good header. And Sky, I'm not saying it was onside. All there. I thought it was onside. I thought it was onside. I thought that guy should have played him on. But there you go. So there we moved go. on. A similar cross, maybe a wee bit, Flatter Scott Arfield One of his first touches Clancy and Heather One each Within a minute He gets the free kick I think it was Tillerman again Trying to dance through Was it? Uh, Tav Uh, gets brought down Yeah Uh, Tav steps up Sorry And uh, puts in the goal 2-1 And then We just sort of Played the game out Yeah I would have liked us To try and get a third So we could relax But We we always like to make things There we all bear Aye, well, that's what I was. Ex- I've had a couple of chances to, to, to neighbour up the puck to drive on and catch them on the break, and I don't know what happened. That, there was one with Kenny, he just passed the thing right out of the park. I'm going, what was that about? And he's got all the space to run into him, he just didn't run into it. And I'm going, we've got to get we've got to put around Serration right for the Allens, Glens, Rejects. It's Tillman, yeah? Tillman. All right. Tillman, yeah? Keep them happy. No, Tillerman, it's Tillman. Tillman, yeah? Yeah. Oh, right. uh, the, 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 the cross Kent gave for the Arfield well, that's the only thing that boy don't know do Kent I, I mean well, event of any quality you know aye, but that's aye. an assist that's an assist he's going aye, on, which is I good that's his will... figure starting to... I, don't know know. Know. I don't know who's that I don't know who's that but try to get um, um, but he also put the cross in for Cholak didn't he I think that was Kent. Aye, for that, for that goal, aye. For the goal, aye. the goal that was there, goal. Mm-hmm. Aye, so we played the game out. We won 3 1. I thought James Sands done well. I thought John Suter, it just shows you he's going to have to step up to the mark. I know he was playing against an awkward customer, but he gave the ball away, his positional sense. And there, was, there wasn't no the anything that I could say it was because he was playing in the left of defence. It was all basics. No all fun, man. No fun. Tell me. The boy needs to be taken out the team all together and get and get him fit. I'm not saying he's a bad player. I don't think for a minute I'm saying he's a bad player, and, but he's no fit and he gets turned too easy. And that the reason he's getting turned too easy because he's no fit. He's trying to get too close to the defender, but when they spin him, he's no strength or speed to get back back to him. And I think if he's fitter, he would have that speed. And it's only speed out of the first two yards, three yards, but he's no good to it. You can see he's no good to it. So he's been out a long time, remember. You, I mean, last year he was out a hell of a long time. And in fact, Scottish Cup final was his first game back. Uh, so you're sitting going up, but he, he's he needed something. He played the week before against us, didn't he? Aye. But he needs yeah. something, mate. He needs something. He, he didn't play against the boys in the league. I'm not sure. I don't think he played that game. I think he played his first game was the Cup final. No, he played, he, 
I think sure he played against. He came on against us. You got a big cheer, didn't he? Did he? Aye, but he didn't. I don't think he played the whole game. But anyway, he, he, he didn't have a great game with then Personally, because of the booking and way Glenn Kamara, I know Goldson had been booked, but I would have took the two off at half time. That's where you've got to use the five substitutes. But we never. And ultimately, Giovanni got it right, or Bear? Aye, he gets it right again. That's what he gets paid to do, and he, he does it really well. <laughs> <laughs> he's better than us, mate. But, uh, I, I, I was, I was actually concerned. If Jolak and I or somebody else get booked as well, and you're, you're worrying because I thought that priest was going to send somebody off. No, I mean, uh, I don't know that you that referee uniform, but it looks like a priest to me. <laughs> and I'm oh. saying, what's he doing there? I wouldn't know what they look like. But anyway, we'll get these phone lines open to see if people want to come in for maybe uh, the west of Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> what Condon would know? I don't think we gave him the fantastic or yet. <laughs> no, no, we did not. We did not. Let's hear from these. Why don't you give us a call on 0141 356 1972? It's your show. It's your platform. Let's hear from you. Uh, who was your plump for? Was my best performer today? Best performer, I would have given it to... That's a hard one. That's a hard one. I'd probably give it to Tillman coming on. He made, it, he made some difference. I've got Tavernier as my best player. The piece. I'd, probably, I'd probably agree with that. I'd probably agree. If they start my living, I'd probably agree with that. I've got Tavernier. And I thought Lundstrom was neat and tidy at time, but still looked a wee bit rusty all other time. We'll put that down to the pitch. Good to see Jack getting some minutes, sir. Aye, surprised at that, actually. But aye, good to see him coming on. So, I think I'll say the day might be for specific games and specific roles, and I think he's right. I don't think Jack will be on every game now. I don't think he can play two, more than one game at a time. No, he can't even like play two and three a week. I don't think he's, he's bored you out, out of there, but it's good to see him on, are you right? And he, he just made it simple, didn't he? He just plays it simple. <laughs> nothing nothing fancy. Just keep the ball. Aye. Aye. Well, aye. You're right, mate. You're right. Right, OK. I hope people come and join us. Give us thoughts. Um, John McLaughlin. No fault for the goal for me. Uh, didn't have a lot today, really. Yeah? Aye. Uh, I don't know. I, I thought the senior man, he was running out the... the when the ball broke and the guy got by his footer and he's and he's and I'm going, what's he running out for? You mean everybody you could see it was going to, it wasn't going to be a volley, it was always going to be a lob if you come out he's going to lob you. And I'm saying to myself, maybe a fraction of a second he could have held back, but I'm not a goalkeeper, I don't know. No, I mean so it just looked pretty easy to score the goal, no? I mean it looked really <laughs> really easy to score the goal, you're going to be honest about it. Uh centre half gets rolled and a chip a a, a lob out of your keeper. Job done. And by the way, they only scored again later on. And oh, mate, yeah. that guy could have done better. Aye, aye. <laughs> so you're looking at that. Well, I think, I think, the, I think the defence is a shambles. To be honest with you, I really do. He's sorted and he's sorted now. And we can't wait any longer. It needs to get sorted, uh, and it needs to stiffen up a bit because I, I, I thought Tottenham walked right through us, West Ham walked right through us, Blackpool walked right through us, uh, and then they've walked right through us. Don't I mean? <laughs> You're saying, going, this can't go on. You're not going to get away with us or see him at the fence like that. You're just no. No, but uh, hopefully Ben Davis is the man to improve our defence with 25% in the left centre half role. And obviously, Barisic has got a fight in his hand. So I don't know if that, I can't judge the young boy, Ridvan. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You know, we'll well, see that it. was a young boy in the event. I the boy, and I was looking at that, that, that game today, and I was looking at Barisic, who was in my position. I'd be going, I'm not much there to be. Oh, I'm better than that. That's what I'd be saying to myself. <laughs> I mean, could certainly could take that position uh, because Barisic did. Don't get me wrong, the targeting, the, the Scottish football's targeting him. Uh, I've called the guy a coward before, and the Scottish football know it because every single one of them are laying a wee bit on him all the time. All the time, they lay a wee bit on him to see what he's going to do, to see how he's going to react. Uh, and if he's no crossing a ball accurately, I don't think he's much good to the team, to be honest with you. He's not, that's the only thing he's got for me. You know, if, if he can go up that, that wing and do what he does up that wing, and he used to do it really, really well, they crosses and they, they, they threw balls, you know, they, they, they diagonal through balls. 
excellent. But if he's no doing that, I don't, I don't see what, what his value is to the team. Maybe I'm wrong, that's the way I see it. Aye, everybody sees it different. I don't think he had a great game. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think him and Kent, Kent combined great, but there was times, if I'm being fair, I think Kent took him short. Kent's got a habit of sometimes just when he, he goes and rolls it with outside his boot, like he done against last week against Tottenham, he gets mm-hmm. it short, you know. And I, I just I like players to pass it with an instep and make sure it's always heavy, mate. Yeah. Aye. Yeah. It's his trap now, but I know he's, he's, got to, he's got to go that fancy way. You know what I mean? Uh, I'll watch this, I'll tap it outside of my boot, I'll trap it. Uh, I, you're just going to trap it, boss. Man. Trap it and move. That's what you should be doing. Trap it and, at, at level, especially European level. You know the time you trap the ball in? Oh, dear, this, I've still got a wee fancy trick. You know the time? Trap it and move it right away. You either, either own the run or a trap it and pass it. You know what I mean? Or date and one movement. But, yeah, I'm not picking new. It's just, uh, it's just the way it is. It's just the way it is, isn't it? Look, it's another game out the way, you know. And and, uh, and uh, all our focus now goes on Tuesday. Yeah, we we can play better. We know that, and there's a lot of answer, a lot of questions to be answered. Uh, but as I said, the massive tick, well, two massive ticks in the box are one, three points, and two, uh, it's a plastic pitch game out the way. Yeah, we've only got to go the back there once more this season, and depending on the fixtures. We might only have two more games to play in plastic pitches, all better, yeah? Aye, that'd be, a big, that'd be a big plus, by the way, because we don't like them. <laughs> we just like them. Uh, so, aye, that'd be a big plus. And that, that, you're right, that victory is a great victory, just because it's on that stupid pitch, and we'll go that out of the way. So, well done, Rangers. Onwards and upwards. Here, 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 here. Um, one, of the, one of the things I will say, but uh, I don't know your thoughts on this, the love affair with Tavernier and uh, Goldson has got to come to an end, mate. Every, every free kick and every corner kick is aiming at goals. It has to stop, mate. It really has to stop. Because we're getting nowhere with corner kicks as well. That really starting to really go on my nerves. And I'm saying, why? And you watch every other team pumping the ball into your box or anywhere near. They always win the ball. Every team wins the ball against us. And we go, yeah, well, we've got free kicks and corner kicks. We never win the ball. This is the Vodafone voicemail service for 07919. Oh. Uh, oops. Aye. Uh, oops. Aye. Uh, um, that, um, that, that love affair needs to stop, mate. We need, we, need, we need to sort of jumble that up a bit and make that a bit more difficult for other teams to read us because they were easy to read. Our delivery, our delivery particularly in the first half, was, was poor, yeah. Yeah, was poor, well, you know. Uh, we've decided we've went with out tab on the right, born on the left, everything's an outswinger. Well, personally, I think you're, you're, you're doing part of the other team's job because you're taking the ball away from the goal, yeah? Huh? Huh? And you're helping them heed it away. Instead of going, if you're going to beat your heed on it, you're going towards your own goal. So you can't really generate any force or to go the other way. So it should be in swingers. But again, keepers on it. Uh, well, Big McLaughlin came out for one today, which was more than happy about. Uh, he took a bang for it, but he, at least he came out and got it. Uh, that that would have been McGregor. He would have never went anywhere near that one. Well. Uh, there's a lot of sense no playing McGregor on that park if you're going to pass the ball. But, but to be fair, John McLaughlin didn't touch the ball because they were that deep. They were passing about the halfway line, no 18 yard box, yeah? <laughs> I thought, I mean, Goldson got the ball as well. I thought he started, in the second half, he started really driving up the park. I'm going, that's better. What are we walking up or trying to pass up the park? There's big, huge spaces. Just walk straight into the space. Force them to do something. Force them to come towards you. But if you're trying to pass, it's too easy. That square passing, slow square, it's too easy to defend. We said this at the beginning of the game. I think it was you saying that, that we need to move the ball fast. And that's that's a guaranteed certainty when you get the low box. Forget, forget what pitch you're playing on. It, it needs to be fast passing. You can't do it slow. Because uh, they just shuffle from side to side and it's easy defending. But once we started more, and in the second half we played, we started to play some nice football. I was going, well, here we go now. It's looking a lot better now. But if you noticed, it was these short, quick passes were there. Uh, difficult to defend. And, and movement was getting better and better and better. So I enjoyed this. I enjoyed... Uh, 
the second half a lot better, a lot better than I did the first half. Aye, without a doubt, mate, without a doubt. I think you're spot on with that. The first half was frustrating, and obviously we'd lost the goal, and we just huffed and puffed, you know? Mm-hmm. We just huffed and puffed without doing a lot of effort, being honest, because their goalie never had a save to make. It's all right putting all eight crosses in, which was good. And some of the Flurry, cross- Flurry three or something. Ah, it's just luck whether they go to the right person or there was one was nearly a known goal. The guy will do that <laughs> another ten times and it'll go in his own goal, won't it? I know. And then Barisage put one in. I don't think he meant it, but rather the keeper me. His fingers t- hits the bar, hits the post, comes out and tell me sure. No, you're thinking that that. Dylan's gonna rip the net and he hits it, the goal he's lying down, he hits it with. Hits it off him. If the goal hadn't been lying down, he must let it did save it. What was your thoughts when they scored? I was on the phone to my nephew. He's talking. He's, he's heading to the pub to see it, and he's talking to me on the phone. And I was like, "Oh, we nearly scored. Oh, we nearly scored again in the first couple of minutes." Then I went, "Oh, they scored." And he went, "What?" No, we got the part once and scored. <laughs> oh, I was, my head just sank, man. I was like, "Oh no, no, it's definitely going to be one of the days that they're just going to all camp in." I, I still don't. I still fancy this to go in one. In fact, I still fancy this the, the time to go in one more than two one. You know, because it was so early. But when you get to half time and you've not really peppered the goalie, you're thinking, "Mo, oh, could it be one of the days?" And as time moved on, mate, you're thinking, "Oh God, you know, where's right. this going to come from?" What, what does that say about Sakala, mate? Just uh, get your thoughts on it quickly. We needed a goal and we needed some forward play, and he never got a sniff. With five substitutes, what does that say about his? What the manager uh, thinks of him? I, I think it's Roy McKay doesn't fans him. I think Roy McKay actually thinks he's a jokey a, a forward uh, because he's no real uh, technical ability. He runs like a, like a demented penguin. Know what I mean? And he, he's 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 just when he's on the ball, he's sort of he's like, he's no rudder. He's sort of all other points. Know what I mean? He's like. He's, no, he's trying to run in a straight line, but it's going left, it's going right, it's going left, it's going right, you know what I mean? So I don't think Roy McKay rates him at all. Ah, I, 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 there's something about him, I don't know what it is, but there's something about him I like. I, I think, part of his enthusiasm, he has scored some nice goals, by the way. But I think McKay uh, thinks he's a, 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 a flip, see, that's just, he doesn't know what he's doing. The one at Parkhead was a beauty, an absolute beauty. Uh, and the one against the... Uh, Annan, was it Annan? We played the Dunn now. Uh, all right, I looked. <laughs> he said he meant that. Uh, okay, I'll give if him he a. Meant, <laughs> if he meant that we got 100 million for him, didn't matter who you were playing against. <laughs> you know, I ask him if he leads to phone his back, mate. Uh, the boys are saying, phone back, phone back, Andy, and we'll bring you in. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Aye. I just thought when, you know. It tells you Disney fans. Stuff. That's the worst try to get to. It tells me Disney fans. Aye, didn't he get a sniff, you know? Nah, Even in the last few minutes when you maybe just brought them on as they were trying to go up apart just to freshen it up. But mm-hmm. and your still your thoughts on Cholak, mate? I like Cholak. There's a lot of work, mate. Now, he doesn't get enough, he doesn't get fed enough for the ball for me. Uh, so it's not Cholak's fault. But he's he's moving and he's getting in the right places and you can see the enthusiasm in him. He, he, he's enthusiastic about it. There's a lot of work, mate. Oh, Andy, turn the show off. How are we doing, mate? Uh, I've got it. Uh, I just I don't know what happened there. It just it just dipped out right enough. Uh, uh, I, phew, um, like the good thing you take out is that they persisted. They got the three points on one of their pitches. Uh, the defence is an absolute bomb scare. That worries me. It doesn't matter who we seem to put in there. I mean, you know, we don't get much on top of us, but when we do, we look like we don't know each other at the back there. That's very, very frightening, that. They need to sort that out. Big suitor. Well, you know, I championed him when he come, said I liked him for Dundee United. He's got to have time to come in. I think Obed's probably right. He doesn't look fit, uh, but I had an absolute shock out of there, didn't he? But well played. I think Arfield and uh, Tillman, they, they changed the game. Good substitutes by... Uh, Broncos at the time there, so you've got to take the positives out of that. Aye, my new new that the game's done, mate, and you can relax. So that there, there is positives. <laughs> Were you relaxing after five minutes? That's for sure. <laughs> I, I was alright with five minutes, but I wasn't relaxing two minutes before we got the equaliser, Andy. No, no. I, well, I, I said the shugs there. I said uh, my shows and everywhere was <laughs> it was twenty minutes away from meltdown. Although it's the first game, you know, because you know what we're like. But look, we persisted. 
you know, and we will get better. It's the first game. We, you know, even I've got to be honest, early enough. But you know, had a lot of them passes and the stats that come up. We didn't go anywhere. Just tippy tappy at the back. We didn't make the keeper make a save in the first half. For all that possession, you should be doing something a wee bit more. Than that. I think I think Boy Lawrence is going to be a player, but he looked lost. I have put that down to the opening day, coming into Scotland and you know finding out what they're up against. He's got to feel his way in. He'll be okay. But the Yank, see a Yank or a German? I'm not sure now, but both, he's both. both we need okay. Poland. He's German. If he lands on the Normandy beach, he's American. So whatever it comes <laughs> up, <laughs> one of them that flies over your country and gets a game. I. <laughs> Aye, well, okay. Uh, yeah, look, he'll be all right. Uh, what, I said to Shubbs again there, uh, full time there. I like him. I think he's going to, you know, create. But uh, he needs to cut out them little uh, dinky moves because he'll get he'll get murdered in Scotland with that. You know, just do the basics and play yourself into the team. I think he'll get in the team. I think he could possibly stay there. Uh, Sands come on and did that that job that he, he you don't notice him, but he, he's steady. I didn't like the idea of Jack coming on for eight minutes. All better. I, I'm thinking, no, oh, no feeling that. You know, when it could be an amateur and take you out there. You know, just didn't see the point of that at all. Well, I, I did, mate. I was pleased to see Ryan Jack coming on. Well, I'm yeah. pleased. Have, but I just, I, I always get a fear. Uh, we, I get a fear with him every time he plays. To be honest with you, these days. But um, anything could happen there where you know they're kicking in and that, like I say that goal that they scored that got disallowed I mean geez, what kind of defending was that? I don't know what happened there we'll put it down to the fact they all stopped because the whistle went yeah good the whistle went yeah we'll, we'll stick with that then it, it looks good on our part there then doesn't it? Aye and what about <laughs> but, the goal he scored to get chopped off what did you make of that Andy? No that's onside uh, the shoe you get two or three angles on the sky there's no way that's off side but I mean without, if VAR was in we'd have got that goal Depending on who's who's watching the bar, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, uh, that's that's a worry. Who you're going to put in front of them, them TVs, right enough? But uh, no, look, we can be critical, but nah, look, we did what we had to do. We come out and they should great resolve, in my opinion, for sticking at it because when we're the one that hit the bar and then Tillman hit the keeper and all that, you say to yourself, "Geez, we're down here 20 minutes to go. It's not going to move a day." So, you know, we actually turned it around. I had the feeling Tavernier was going to score uh, the way they lined up that defence. Like, if we'll get this on target, he's going to get it. And he did. So, I, I, see to, I would have liked, yeah, liked us to put a spot down on him and gone for a, a, another goal. Because they were there for the taking. Livingston had gone then. I, 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 they, 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 they couldn't cover the ground. See the difference between him and Barisic, Tav? I mean, Barisic, I mean, it's one in a hundred when you're trying to put it in the tap postage stamp, in it? If yeah. you don't mm-hmm. hit the target, you'll never score, no? You know, and yeah. Barisic, he's no scored for over two years. And he's, obviously, he's done offset pieces. You know, that might be time to take him off and get him to Lawrence for that side. The fact that if he's on the pitch, would you think all be I, I think so. I think, I, I think you're right with that. And I think I think it's time to have come off the corners uh, as well. Uh, I think there needs to be a shake-up. There's going to be better. There's going to be better players better at taking taking these things than the ones that are playing it out. Barisic on his game, hitting the ball right, aye, oh, definitely. But he's no. And the same with Tab. But Tab walks up and puts that beauty at a free kick in. Tab scores more free kicks than Di Barisic does. There's no doubt about that. Go uh, distances as well. Aye, aye. Another three points that James Tavernier scores. Yep. Fox will be excited, Andy. Yeah, well, look, I've, I've, you know, I've been a big critic of Tavernier right enough. He's, he's, he's going into the captain. You know? I don't know a Rangers player. You know a big critic. I know it's because I love him that much, right enough. I just want him to do well. Yeah. <laughs> and if they don't do well, I'm gaining it. I like Jack. I've never criticised Jack. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's become a better player sitting in the stand every week. Uh, aye, aye. <laughs> Maybe you're right. If you've seen what's going on there. But no, look, you just want them to do well. I mean, I'm setting my ways now. I'm too old to change now. And I, I, want, I just say it as I see it. You know what I mean? You know, I'll, you know as well as I do. I want Rangers to I hate Rangers getting beat at anything. Anything. And I just, I get I, I get annoyed when I think they're not putting in the right shift or they don't try hard enough. It's like, like Kent, and it? You know, you've done nothing today. And you know, you know what you get with certain players, not just Kent, any player that plays the game. When they're not doing it, and they, they, they can't get into it. They, they revert to this moaning all the time. And if you're watching Ken, that's all he does now. He mumps his gums instead of just getting his head down and getting on with it. 
that's a sign of a player that's got no confidence as well. I don't think Kent's ever had a game, a good game against that Devlin. No, I don't think no. he has, mate. No. He's not having a good game against anybody at the moment, to be honest with you. But uh, yeah, you've got a point there, right enough. I mean, their pitches don't help, right enough. But just get your head down. He's got something, but he's. I, I, I don't think he's. I don't think he's going to get any better for. You know, I think he's going to get these odd games out um, and games like Livingston and all that. I don't think he's going to influence in games much over the course of the season. He just can't seem to adapt to playing them teams. He's good against the filth at times and the sheep and. And that, and especially in Europe, he pulls off some games right enough. He should be there. He should be better than that, you know. I don't think Kent and, Bar- and Barisic combine well at all. They did. They started to combine the second half today. That Barisic started to make runs and take players away from him because in two players, Barisic makes the run. If he doesn't make the run, there's three players coming out of him, and they're going right. Come on, Barisic, go up and give him a run. Take some of the players, at least one away from him. And he started doing it in the second half, and I'm going, that's me, I like it. So, uh, this wee boy is coming in, this wee, uh, uh, what do you call him? What's his name? Ridvan. Uh, Yilzmaz. Ridvan, yeah, yeah, I Rid, Rid, Rid Van all day. Ridvan, Rid yeah. uh, that wee boy, you're hoping that wee boy can strike up some sort of uh, chemistry with Kent uh, and read the play and play together, you know what I mean, and say, uh, I'm taking players away, I'll make a run here, make a gap there. Just normal football, you know what I mean? Because Barisic is no doing it. He did start today in the second half, but in the first half, oh, Christ, man, you're like... He's not... We Kent's taking players down the wing, and he's taking them away and, make, and, and creating that gap between himself and Barisic. He knocks the, back, the ball back to Barisic. Now he's given him, him a clear angle to cross the ball. What is he doing? He either gives it back to him or turns and puts it back the way you like. Cross the bloody ball. That's what he's made the gap for. Cross the bloody ball. But he doesn't. He seems to get this in his head of not to cross the ball anywhere. Uh, that's a problem. That is a problem because you're a wasted Ken. I think he's wasted on the wing anyway. I just think we're wasting him out there. Be, he's all right out there if you allow him to come in after the wing and play inside sometimes. No, I mean, carry the ball inside. But see, they're just keeping them trapped on the wing. No, nah, I don't get it. I just don't get it. It's too easy to mark the These type of players are too easy to mark at the game. All right. Uh, last 20 minutes. Let's hear from you. Why don't you give us a call on 0141 356 1972. It's your show. It's your platform. Let's hear from you. I, I, I don't think you want Kent right on the touchline because... He, He's he's he can't even go down and cross it with his right foot. Mm-hmm. When he's uh, he's out in the left, he's he's right footed. So he's got to be inside. So he's got the choice to get inside or rolling and down to Barisic can outside him because he's left footed. Mm-hmm. You know Barisic, you can't. He's not going to underlap and get it through. Then him Barisic has to go down his locker because he's no sure does it. You know. Then again, he did show us in backfield he can stand inside and put a goal in with his right foot. Right foot. Uh-huh. There you go. Yeah. So it's too much for you to show us that. No, but I'll be interested to see how it pans out in the competition for places. Uh, I gave Tap man of the match, but obviously a big part of that was his goal, but I think in the second half he drove us forward, Andy. Yeah, well, you know, and the goal, like you say, yeah, he, played, he played well. I, I would... <laughs> it definitely sounds he went on long enough, but I, I would have given it half field just for uh, his no and the, 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 the timing of his runs at times, the way he brought little things up, and that we depth header there that he put. That's, that's a cracking goal, that, you know. I mean, uh, so just for it and changing it uh, uh, up to that and to have coming in a wee bit, I wouldn't have given anymore. I thought they were all average today, you know. Uh, Apart from Souter and Bonner and Kent, I think they were below average as well, you know. But uh, look, we've got it. It's a first game, isn't it? I think there's another couple you could throw into that. Kamara, Lawrence. Oh, right. yeah, well, they, uh, Lawrence looked totally lost. But, I mean, I'm putting that down to just, you know, you've got your dad, the Scottish football. Oh, I get that, but you, you can only you know. critique that performance today, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to, uh, since I keep getting pulled, I'm trying to be uh, top tactical and be nice and not bang everybody out. <laughs> A new season, old bearer. Eh? A new man for a new season, Andy. 
I know last one, I could tell you that. I <laughs> thought <laughs> you'd revamped yourself, mate. Me and you, me, do it, mate. But aye, there's bang average performance right across, the, right across the park. But the good thing about it is we still walk away with three points and we know there's a lot of improvement in the team to come. And you know they're capable of improving because they're, they're good players. So that's, that's, that's a positive there right in itself. Going, well, we won the game no playing that well. Uh, so that's good. That's the sign of a, a championship team. You know what I mean? A, well, a league winning team. Uh, to play play bad and win. Uh, that's, I, I know in that part is the point to do it. So that's that park out the way for one one of the plastic visits out the way to start with. So aye, uh, good, good, good. Uh, but we will improve. I'm expecting next week on oh, Tuesday, starting on Tuesday. Expect I don't know. Is that a plastic part over there? I don't know if it was a grass part or a plastic one, but I hope it's a grass one. I'm assuming it's grass, mate. I've not read to anything to the contrary, mate. Even because I've moved it, I've moved it to an agron, haven't they? So I think we'd, we'd have picked that up. It would have been plastic, but I, I think he's a bit right. I think there the, the was, the was critiquing that performance. There were some guys done okay. And there were some guys who Sean who maybe come on laterally, but mm. there was guys who didn't do okay, but were putting that down to the pitch and the rustiness, Andy. But they've got to yeah. improve. Yeah, well, you know, we, you know, back in the day, we would have, we would have tossed these, we'd have probably drew them. You know what I mean? And we're actually winning these over the last couple of years when we're we're tight. All right, we we won beat them quite easily in the start of last season, but we, you know, we went to Kilmarnock, didn't we? There and scored a goal in the last minute, didn't we? To win a two-one and that. So we're actually. We're actually going forward a wee bit and, and, and winning these games. He didn't want to come off there dropping two points or like that. Because it gets you on a downer and all that. But I'm I'm look, I'm I'm absolutely late. We got the three points. I'm glad they stuck at it, especially when the the two chances the bar and the, the keeper said that I'm thinking, oh gee, it's going to be one of these days. And uh, you know we persisted and we got the that that moment in time where we got the two goals and we're sitting the three points. Let's get it on. We will get better. We'll we'll improve. We won't be playing on their packs every week. So. You know, we can, we've got to just take it for what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm delighted with them. I think the Stukat is good, but there's lots of guys to come in. There's lots of formations different. They'll rotate. I'm not a lover of rotating. I think once you get a certain team that they're not injured, you stick with them. Like you know, but that's modern day football, as we've said before. But yeah, come on, go forward. Now, Tuesday night, let's go out there and get a, a good result. This will not be an easy game. You know, I think this is a 50-50. Um, Belgian football is quite, quite good. So we'll have to be on my toes for this. Make sure we come back with a result, get through the hopefully get through the first tie. And then obviously <laughs> they'll get harder in the second one if we qualify, won't it? Aye, of course it will. James Tavenier, hundred and eighteen touches, ninety one percent pass completion, sixty nine com- completed passes, two key passes, seventeen crosses, three accurate long balls, hundred percent successful dribbles, six ground duels one, two aerial duels one, two shots blocked. Five tackles, six shots, one goal. Six shots for the right back. Yeah. You just described, you just described Bridge, Bridge's career there. Mm, no, that, no, no, that wouldn't be. 100% successful dribbles, that would never be in that. Because <laughs> they never done any. No, no. <laughs> it is more dribbling now. <laughs> I had 21 shots on goals as well, right enough. You know, you should be taking more goals for... You know, that uh, kind of thing. I'm still not convinced that Kolak's uh, the, the 25 goal getter, right? And I forget, it fell over again there going through at the back end. Okay, on that pitch, right enough. But that's two or three times he's done that, you know, when he's had the ball through to go on the goalie. He's fell over, right enough. I mean, that that's not good as a striker for me. Like, stand on your feet and get a shot off, you know. But we'll give him time, right enough. I mean, his goal was cracking. It'd be unfortunate. You see, they got their two goals, that one in Blackpool and, and uh, this one, you know, today. I'd have set him yeah, off when his confidence well, was in it. was a goal. Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. Well, so I'm saying it's not his fault. <laughs> what a line used to say, you know, you're not getting it. Did that show you that he has a centre forward? Because he, 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 I don't think he touched it. He only touched the ball four times in the first half because we never uh-huh. put the ball in the, the areas. Mm-hmm. The yeah, well, at that we, point, right enough. The first time we put the, the ball in the right area, he scored a good goal that was chopped off wrongly. Mm-hmm. I just think, yeah, I think he'll score with his head. I think he'll score with his head. I've got no danger about that. I just, he looks a bit like a, a bit of a daisy, like, you know, when he's running with the ball, like, he keeps falling off. Or is it just me that's seen it, bang, right enough? You know, that just what I see, but he'll score goals with his head. 
You put the put plaza in, in the park, the park. Still do put that. it into the yeah. park. I'd put yeah, well, we'll, park. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll go with that one. Yeah, I'll, I'll bet I'll, I'll bet I stay as a star. I don't a good. That didn't last long. That didn't last long, old bird, did it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think he has a good gene. I think he's going to come. I think he's going to be a good gene. Uh, I like his movement. I like his enthusiasm. I, I, I like his application. I think he's going to be a good gene, really. And he, he did score today, so. Uh, Aye, and that's you know we had a chance to link up, and that was one of the things that was disappointing. He's, mo- he's moving into the positions, but they're moving him the ball and moving off him. That's that. I that think that's going to be one of his big strengths. That you, you can you can feed off him. No, I mean if you give him the right ball, you'll feed it into you. Uh, but apart from that, I, I, no, I think he's going to be a good one, yeah, definitely. But, but Andy, only time mm-hmm. will tell. You're judging a centre forward the amount of goals you score. You do, yes, that's it. You know, your real strikers, like, they're not in the games, you know, we've seen them, but that ball comes around about that area there and bang, you're scoring, you know. I mean, but he will, I think he'll, he should come good in that. Do you think um, he's going to play Morales and him together? Do you think that can work? We'll see, we'll see, mate, um, because what... Yeah, we what you're seeing the day, what you're seeing in the second half, we weren't playing with a right sided player. It was Tavernier that was doing the dual role, and we never went with three in the back. I well, know that I noticed. No, you know, mm-hmm. you know. Maybe what do you make of that? What do you make of their big plank of wood up front, that big centre forward? The one that's yeah, got. I thought he had the defence, and when he had the opportunities, he made us look a, a little bit ordinary. I you know, I've never even heard of him before. Right we, we looked terrified every time he got the ball. He's a big unit. Awkward, awkward customer. Yeah, awkward. I would yeah. put him down as... And by the way, let's be honest, it, it was a good finish. Oh, he took it well. No, he took it well. I thought we made it easy for him, but he did take it well. And he would put, sorry, he made it easy for him. He still got to finish it, and he finished it well. But he's a he's an awkward character. He really was. It's not that. We made it easy and I'm flying into him and he's just knocking the boys, flicking the ball by I'm going, good grief. He's one of the guys that you jockey and let, let him make a mistake because he's clumsy. Uh, there was there was one in the second half and it was halfway, near the halfway line, just in, in there half and the boy gets knocked top with the boy and Barisic, he's just, he don't have to stand and he goes right up and the boy goes down and gets a foul and you're saying, why? Just <laughs> play with the heat, not with the heart, you know? Uh-huh. I know. That's bad. Barris just thinks he's doing a good job and he's, he's showing heart and determined that he's no your lot. No, no, he's just cuteness in that position. No, I mean, no, I'm no going to behave there, old bear. I'm going to behave there. <laughs> showing heart. <laughs> that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be showing heart. Oh, I'm going to say, man, you will never convince me any different. Now, I've, I've made my mind up with him. I just, no mark up a tea. He's no, to me, he's not a Rangers player. No. Not at all. 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 I mean, as I keep saying all the time, and that's uh, you don't get that out of Croats. They're usually hard, proud men, aren't they? He just I mean, when he went down there today, did you notice he was bumping and bumping again, like somebody shot him? Like I can't be doing with guys like that. You get smacked the coop in there, get, get up, settle them out when you come down the next time. But he's fucking rolling about I, I all over the place. I said earlier on to Ox, I was saying that the whole of Scottish fit were targeting them now and they're leaving something on them. Watching the day, the three or four, maybe five times, they left something on them. And I'm thinking to myself, I get taught, if there's people are laying things on you, you make it hot when they do it. If so yeah. he comes into you, you make it hot. You might lay it on you, but the next thing he's going to go, oh, that hurt me or not? <laughs> you know what I mean? So lay your studs in, put your, put your soul up, your soul, your foot up to your shin, do something, make it hot. Uh, but he does not he lets them bang into him and leave that wee extra dig on him and you like, nah. And say, you're no learning, son. You're no learning the Scottish way. The Scottish way is, I OK, we'll have a fight, but you're going to be sore as I'm going to be sore. Nah. I mean, the series are going to cap up part going, well, we could have done that different. We didn't need to kick lumps at each other. But, uh, but he does not he just rolls over and plays dead. No, I mean, I can't go that. I just can't go that. Sorry, I can't. Aye, and we're one of the games, we'll part, we'll move on. Yep. Three points, uh, top of the league. Um, and we just, we move on, we park it, Andy, and we, we, we're yeah. just hopeful that people get minutes in their legs and are, are better for it, mate. Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're not 
to, but at the end of the day, it's the first game. They've, they've got to get used to each other. You know, they've got to get used to the worker relationship with each other off the pack. You know, because new people coming in, so they've got to get their build their friendships up. I mean, the little bits that I've been seeing that uh, with Goldston and Suter, they seem to be get really tight as friends off the pack. So if they're going to play Suter and, and together, hopefully they're going to get it right on the pack. Is what we're uh, what we're bothered about. Not really bothered about what they do off as long as they go and perform on the pack. But uh, look, I, I, I was I was raging, obviously, I, and I think most years were. That Twenty minutes ago, you're thinking, Jesus Christ, we're going done it again. But then, you know, we got the two goals, and I, I'm, I'm very, I'm proud of him for that. I, um, you know, because on their pitches and all that, you, sometimes you just have to keep sticking it. I hope it comes your way. I mean, what was impressive? We got the goal, and then the, the mindset for that couple of minutes went straight up and said, "Right, we got the goal. We're going to get another one." And that's impressive, you know. And then it, you, you know, you could, I thought, we'll just play it on. No, they didn't. I went straight for them and got the second. So that's good in that sense. So we will I don't, we won't get better. There's no doubt about that, and he sort of finds his right, his right preferred players for the right positions. We do tend to play players out of position for a lot of years now. I could never get my head around that. If you're a, if you're a left or you're playing the left, if you're right, you're playing the right. But again, modern day football, I don't see how that works because if you're you know like big suited, he looks you're turning away and it's not not natural, and you know he could get caught a few times there. But he's got to come into the shirt and. Whether he stays in permanently, we'll see when the big man Davis comes for it and that. And people seem to be raving about him. I think he's a good player. And somebody down here in England was saying that he's, you know, don't be confused, uh, confused by you know not playing for Liverpool and that. They think he was a £10 million player, I know. So we'll see. That's when they put that shirt on, as I said the other night, and it looks. Hi, OK. Right. Cheers, mate. Good to hear from you. And you enjoy nah, no your problem. Weekend. Yeah. Enjoy. I'm just going to go and have a couple of drinks now and uh, see how There's the score's going. There's a surprise. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be, I say that Alec killed me last night. I tell you, he's mad. I think he, uh, I need to sort that out, man. I'll keep forgetting. I think I age you about two years every time I go go on the show with him. Like you know what I mean? <laughs> but, uh, no, that's good. I'm just I'm pleased for the team, and you know we're off and running now. So let's go. Let's get it done. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Bear. Aye, solid start, mate. Solid start. Shaky about times during the game, but a solid start at the end. Up, a good result, fantastic result. Silly pitch, done, dusted, move on. So we'll go to foundation started. Let's build on it. Yeah, here, here, here. You're spot on, mate. Thanks to the twos for joining us. Thanks, for Andy. Thanks for uh, Albert. Thanks for Fox and Old School Blue for doing the technicals. This has been Rangers Radio. We'll be back on Monday night between eight and ten talking about all things Rangers when we'll be joined by Bridge and the one and only Southside. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the rest of the weekend and remember, we are the people. Take it away, old school blue. Yeah, that's-